Hello and welcome to the next Monday exercise video on the classical mechanics. Today we will find the moment of inertia of a uniform cylinder. My name is Xenon Karyophilis and today, like every Monday, I post a video exercise about a subject in physics that I have already learned in my journey into physics and also I have already posted a video on it in the Thursday Theory videos. If you are new to my channel and want to follow me in my journey into physics, whether you are a student, professor or just a physics enthusiast, consider subscribing and press also that notification icon right next to the subscribe button. You can watch the previous episode on the classical mechanics theory or exercises in the links below in the description. As I already mentioned, today's exercise is about finding the moment of inertia of a uniform cylinder. Before we go to the solution of this exercise, you can watch the theory behind this exercise in the part 9 of the classical mechanics mini-series Moment of Inertia and in this episode we found the moment of inertia of a uniform rod. It will be very helpful for this exercise. Enough talking and let's move to the exercise. As you can see on the whiteboard, we have a cylinder. Now we consider as a differential mass a cylindrical crust. First of all, with radius r, differential width dr, and height h. Now, we know that the formula for the moment of inertia of a rigid body is the following. So, as you can see from the equation, the first step is to find the equation for the differential cylindrical crust, dm. First of all, we know that the density of a rigid object is the differential mass divided by the differential volume. So, the density is the differential mass divided by the differential volume. And from this you can find the differential mass is the product of density and the differential volume. So now we found to find the differential volume and the density of the cylinder, cylindrical crust. Let's start with the differential volume. We know that the volume of a cylinder is the product of its height, each radius squared, and the constant pi. So now we differentiate this equation and we have the equation for the differential volume. Now let's move to the density of the cylinder. Due to the uniformity of the cylinder, its density is the same in the whole object. And in every part of the rigid body, the density equals to its whole mass divided by its total volume. So, Now that we have both the density and the differential volume equation, we can find the differential mass equation.
Now that we have the mass equation, we put this in the moment of inertia equation and we solve the integral. Since this quantity is constant, we can take it out of the integral And finally, we have the equation for the moment of inertia of a cylinder around the axis from its center, which is the following. I hope that you all liked this episode and found this exercise helpful. If you did, subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up on the video and also share this video. I would love to see your comments on this video to let me know whether you learned something like I did and whether you found this video helpful. Follow us also on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus for more content every week. Thank you all for watching and see you in another episode of A Journey Into Physics.